G'day everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action, doing another small little update, a few things that I've picked up in the last week or two. Uh, we were watching the VHS of Enemy Territory at the moment, which is one of the things that uh, I got in a trade, and that's this one over here. New CBS Fox to my collection. It's got a uh, couple of stickers and it's been trimmed, but... Uh, as you can see, the, the print is actually very good, so that's the main thing. With uh, Ray Parker Jr., it's very, very 80s. It's actually pretty good, Jan Michael Vincent. Doesn't uh, have a DVD yet, which is a bit odd, because it's uh, one of those 80s exterminator kind of films, I suppose, that you just think should be uh, on DVD by now, but hasn't made it that way. Next one we've got some, uh, I'm going to presume, Godfrey Ho. Ninja, the Violent Sorcerer. Spectacular ninja action. Doesn't look brilliant. Directed by Bruce Lambert. I mean, that's just not going to be the case. It'll most likely be a Godfrey Ho. The cover's brilliant. I mean, that's from Pray for Death. And that's Shokasuji, who was definitely not in it. That's from... Uh, American Ninja, I think. Not too sure what that's from, but it's uh, definitely a mishmash of stolen artwork. Ninja, the Violent Sorcerer on CBL. Love the uh, cut and paste ninja genre. Which brings us to Ninja Pro Project Daredevils. Richard Young. Looks just as bad. Directed by Bruce Lambert again. Who knows, maybe it is really a guy called Bruce Lambert, but yeah, I highly doubt it. I'll look it up. Craptacular. Next one. Warlords, David Carradine. This is very cool. Um, directed by uh, uh, Fred Olin Ray which is uh, always the sign of quote-unquote quality. Post-apocalyptic, my favourite, one of my favourite genres anyway. Radioactive Future, Mankind vs. the Mutants, David Carradine, I mean that's a win right there on our first release, courtesy of RCA Columbia. Thank Christ I finally got this. A very faded copy, but otherwise perfect condition, Silk. This is a Sirio Santiago uh, action film from the Philippines that I've been after for a very long time and I finally have the tape itself is uh, quite perfect beautiful it's just a shame that the, the front's faded and you can see the sticker damage that orange there was uh, revealed when I peeled off a sticker and that shows you the, uh, the colour that should have been there like that background maybe I'll get a replacement cover one day but otherwise, very happy to finally have silk. But nothing on this world compares to this. I have the Australian VHS of Deadly Prey. This has been the top of my list of once for as long as I've known of the existence of this film. Didn't even know it had an Australian VHS until uh, about late last year sometime when I won, I don't know if I showed it, but I won this cover just the cover, mint condition cover and I had no tape to put it in and now I do I had a minty fresh case floating around if you don't know Deadly Prey I don't know what's wrong with you because you just need to see it beautiful tape and the quality of the tape is uh, excellent, so I finally have a legit VHS to call my own of Deadly Prey. Ted Pryor, directed by David Pryor. The best shot on video action film that I know of. Awesome. A couple of DVDs, a couple of cheapies here. Massacre at Central High. Not an official DVD, I don't think. Um, and the video that I have, which I will go dig out. 
up here somewhere. This is the VHS on Virgin. It's actually better quality. I did do a comparison. And it is better quality. But that's alright. So that's Massacre Central High. Late 70s slasher. Pretty good. Offerings. Also another one that I don't think this is quite a legit DVD. I don't have a tape of to compare, but the print is also fairly average. Another 80s spooky horror. It looks pretty cool. The, the print's good enough to watch, so I'll check it out. A couple more DVDs, actually. Picked up Cheerleader Camp, horror comedy. Uh, deleted, I think, this DVD. And was uh, lucky to get it for six bucks. Um, this rather cheap Steven Seagal three movie Blu ray set. You get uh, The Keeper, Driven to Kill, Born to Raise Hell. Three of his later ones uh, are all enjoyable if you like modern Seagal. And uh, what else did we get? Uh, yep. The uh, little known. Get some light on this. Fourth Shadow Chaser film. This is Shadow Chaser The Gates of Time. Frank Zagarino is a cyborg. The ones before it, you may remember. Shadow Chaser 3000, Shadow Chaser 2, and the original project Shadow Chaser. Quality entertainment there. And lastly, I got some laser discs, which, uh, yeah, it's fairly rare for me to get anything, but, uh, Got these ones from a friend. Oh, get this out of the way. Uh, David Z from the US uh, had a few LDs he wanted to get rid of, and uh, he allowed me to purchase these. This is Olivia Gruner's Nemesis, and as you can see, it is in widescreen. All the current DVDs are in full screen. The US and the UK discs are all full frame. The print on this is very good. Um, uncut I presume um, and uh, yeah currently the best way to see the film nice reverse side there lots of photos the director uh, Albert Payon if I'm saying it correctly is currently working on uh, a new version of the film uh, in widescreen from work print stuff so it'll be a director's cut so looking forward to checking that out this one I got as a bit of a novelty, I didn't really need it, but this is a Salute of the Jugger, Japanese LD. I haven't put it in to see what it's like, but uh, I thought the cover art was very cool. And Rutger Howe, he's awesome. Don't think it's widescreen, I will find out, but I think it's full screen. And the last thing, very cool. Some trashy 90s action here, The Demolitionist, with Nicole Eggert and Richard Grieco, and a blink and you'll miss it. Uh, 30 seconds of Bruce Campbell which was uh, fantastic to see I uh, have this on VHS and I enjoyed it and uh, again widescreen director's edition no DVD uh, well there is there's a US DVD that's commands about a hundred dollars at the moment been out of print for ages and it's not widescreen so the LD is the way to go and the print again is very good so that's the update this time quite short mixed formats. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next time.